welcome to the pursuit of health, wealth and happiness. My name is May if you're new and welcome to another episode of Pretty Bristol Terrace. Make sure you're following us on Instagram if you're new. In today's video we're going to show you how we restored the original wood floors of our 122 year old Victorian terrace property. Specifically the living room which is the room that I'm in now and our dining room next door. Highlighting the period features of an older property is such a good way to add charm. It's such a conversation starter it's a really good selling feature and quite frankly it's a lot cheaper than adding in carpet or laminate or tiles so I think we should just get straight into the video so what we'll do first is we'll show you the before shots of the living room and the dining room and if you have not done so already go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date with all things health wealth and happiness and of course follow us on our DIY journey and let's get into the video so here are the before shots this is our living room so just focusing on the floor, you can see that the previous owners had a stony beigey coloured carpet. And then in the dining room next door, they had some fairly nice quality laminate, which we actually managed to sell on Facebook for £20. Step one of this process is of course lifting all of the carpet, laminate and underlay. So we took the carpet to the local recycling centre because they were filthy and couldn't be saved. And as I mentioned earlier, we were able to sell that laminate online. So once you've lifted all of the flooring, you'll then be left with, well, the original wood flooring, but it won't exactly look like the end result. So you have to imagine what it would look like without it being very dark, dirty and stained. It's actually quite off-putting, but trust me, you have to keep going because the end result is amazing. Next stage is to clear the floors of staples and nails and part of this process may involve you banging in those nails deeper into the wood which is really important because otherwise they will get caught in that sanding machine. Once that's done this is where the magic happens. All right YouTube. So today is floor sanding day. Basically, I've just got all the higher equipment, which includes the floor sander and the edge sander. So this is the floor drum sander, and that's the edge sander. And then I've got a range of different grit sizes for the floor, which is starting at the coarsest, which is 20, four grit and then going up to 40 grit, uh, 80 grit and 120 grit. So yeah, it's something I haven't done before. It's generally spoken online that by professionals that this higher equipment isn't the best. So I'm keen to see what kind of results we get out of it, but fingers crossed.
you just watched Cody doing was the final stage. So after sanding, you just go ahead and add the staining and the varnishing. So we stained once and varnished twice. Okay guys, well done if you've made it this far. We are finally at the reveal stage. After you restore the floors, you are left with this. I mean, how amazing does that look? The color, the texture and just the contrast against the colors. Obviously we've started to do a little bit of decorating just so you can sort of visualize what it's gonna look like when we eventually have furniture and nice ornaments. Um, obviously imagine the TV on the wall as well. And we've obviously done a little bit to the top as well. We've done the paneling. Just focusing on the floors, we have this like rich dark wood color and it's just so nice. And it's gonna be a really nice selling point that you can say, these floors are original to the home. It's just so much nicer than having like a beige, neutral, boring carpet, which I can never understand why people want neutrals in their homes. Like why not have like a cozy, dark color like this? And what I really like is that you can see all these knots and features, lots of different types of browns, some bits are a bit darker, some bits are a bit whiter. It's just such a nice feature. And we're hoping maybe in time we can perhaps put a log fire in. We'll probably get a bigger coffee table because I don't think, I think it's a little bit small for the room. We've got sofas coming. They haven't come yet, but we'll have one here, one here. We'll obviously get a fluffy rug. And I think even having a rug, again, like a soft carpet texture contrast against dark hard floors will look so nice. So if you're on the fence of restoring your original wood floors, I hope this has persuaded you to put in a little bit of the work um, and it's well worth the results. So this is our living room and I will show you our dining room as well. Similarly to the living room, we've also finished the floors in the dining room. So excuse the mess, we are trying to restore the chimney at the moment. So just to show you quickly, we chiseled away the mortar and unfortunately, whoever tried to build this obviously ran out of bricks or enthusiasm for it. And the bottom half of the chimney is actually mostly concrete. So what would have been bricks is just chunks of concrete, which just made it look so ugly. So the idea that Cody had was to plaster all the way around and this will also be blue. And we're hoping to put like a really nice mantelpiece. So we're gonna whitewash, clean and whitewash this and it's still gonna be our feature wall. And yesterday was spent um, finishing off the paneling at the top. So just exactly the same as the living room where we paneled the top, just to, um, stop this room from being so blocky as well. I mean, this is a very dark blue. This is the Farron Ball Hague blue. And this room's gonna be moodier, so it's gonna be dark. So imagine like a dark wood table with like black metal accents. So, okay, let's go onto the floor. So excuse the curtain on the floor, it's just to protect the floor against um, the chairs and the table. But here's the floor. So if you remember before, this room had very similar, it had dark laminate, but to me it just didn't make sense to have original wood floors in your living room and then to have some shop bought laminate in here. So I'm really glad we went ahead and also restored the floors. And because we knew that this room was gonna be Hague blue, we wanted the floors to be very slightly darker. So this is like, I think it's called Rosewood, whereas the living room was a Georgian oak, which I don't think you can tell so much. It's very, very subtle. But again, just imagine with the right furniture, a couple of dark bar stools, that alcove, hopefully will become my little office area. And then even more importantly, if you didn't see the empty house tour, this is going to be my home cocktail bar area. So this is gonna be like a dark, um, jazzy, uh, like cocktail bar restaurant type. <laughs> Just imagine like dark features and candles. And I mean, who doesn't want a home bar, so. Yes, I cannot wait for that to eventually take place. But yeah, there's the floors. These features are original to the house. Someone had gone to the trouble of concealing the fireplace and concealing the original wood floors. 
um, the same as in the living room for us to only then go and reveal them all again so there's just something about having things that are original to the house especially when they're old and that's the benefit of a period property you don't get these wow factors that you that you just don't get in like a townhouse or you know just your standard houses so if you have a period property and you're on the fence of you know trying to restore the floors or you're not sure whether you should I highly recommend that you do because it's just so unique the outcome is amazing you'll have lots to talk about when people come round it's very interesting on the eye and the textures and um, again when you come to sell it these are such good features and that is how we restored the original wood floors of our 122 year old Victorian terrace property Thank you so much for watching, please do give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye!